Hi there, my hairy friends. This is Tudor Tanase, the hair loss dude. I'm the founder of Follicle Booster and creator of Follicle. And in today's episode, Follicle Booster show number 16, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about oral minoxidil in hair loss. This episode is going to have five main parts, history, oral versus topical, mechanism of action, side effects, and my personal opinion about this medication. First, let's start with history. The medication it has been invented in the 50s in order to treat high blood pressure. After that, in 1979, it has been approved by FDA in order to treat high blood pressure through oral medication. Ever since then, oral minoxidil has been used by thousands and thousands of customers in order to treat high blood pressure. They started to notice that a lot of them developed hyperplasia, meaning a lot of hair growing on their chest, back and shoulders. Scientists then repurposed minoxidil from an orally standpoint to a topical lotion in order to treat androgenic alopecia. Ever since then, millions and millions of customers have been using this medication topical over their scalp in order to treat male pattern baldness and oral minoxidil fell off from a first-line treatment to a second-line treatment because a lot of other medication came into market that are better for high blood pressure than minoxidil. Now let's discuss about the differences between oral and topical minoxidil. If you ingest this medication, it's going to go systemic in a much higher percentage than if you apply it topical. The half-life of oral minoxidil is 4.2 hours and topical is 22 hours. At the same time, minoxidil oral, it needs to be prescribed by your doctor, while the topical, it's over-the-counter medicine, meaning you can buy it from any retail shop. The pros of oral minoxidil is that it's not a topical, and if you have an extremely sensitive skin that you cannot apply any kind of lotion over your scalp, then you should take oral minoxidil, and the cons are the side effects are much higher in percentages because the systemic absorption is increased by taking it orally and at the same time you have to take it twice a day in order to have great results because of its half-life. Before I proceed with the mechanism of action of oral minoxidil, let me explain you what I've done in this drawing right here. First you have the epidermis, then the dermis. With red right here you have the papillary layer which resides all your capillaries which transports all the nutrients to the hair papilla which is the nucleum of your hair follicle. After that the hair matrix you can see here on top starts to multiply fast in order to create the hair shaft which extends above the skin. Now let me explain you the benefits of oral minoxidil. You swallow the pill, it goes systemic and gets transported by the bloodstream. In the papillary layers the medication gets pushed by the capillaries until it achieves the hair papilla. In here minoxidil is going to get activated and that's how hair growth happens. The interesting part of about the mechanism of action of minoxidil is that nobody knows exactly how it works. You have three main possibilities. One, increase vasodilatation, meaning more and more blood can be pushed to those tiny capillaries. Two, increase fenestration of these capillaries, meaning more pathways to the hair follicle. Three, increase the number of ATP potassium channel openers around the follicle, so more and more blood can be pushed that way. The side effects of oral minoxidil are pretty similar with a topical one, but in a much higher percentage. Meaning, you have a higher chance of hyperplasia, hair growing on your chest, back or shoulders, hypertension, weight gain or chest pain. Before I proceed with my personal opinion, I want to let you know that I've been using topical minoxidil for over 6 years now in order to treat androgenic alopecia and I have never used oral minoxidil. The reason for that is because oral minoxidil goes systemic in a much higher percentage than the topical one meaning all the possible side effects are much increased because of that. This is the main reason why FDA approved topical minoxidil as an over-the-counter medication and not the orally one. As well, there's no big hair loss company that's selling oral minoxidil to treat hair loss. You must go to your doctor, get a prescription and buy it from the pharmacy. The best part of topical minoxidil, it gets absorbed locally, meaning a small percentage of it goes systemic and the possible side effects are much reduced. In fact, the vast majority of customers that have any kind of side effects from minoxidil topical are skin related and that's the cause and the issue of the recipe of the medication. So my personal opinion about oral minoxidil is that you shouldn't take it. It has been repurposed from an oral to a topical one and approved by FDA as an over-the-counter medication for a specific reason, because the possible side effects are much reduced and the overall benefits are better than oral one. At the same time, the only reason why I would see you take it orally over topical is if you have an extremely sensitive skin on which you cannot apply any kind of topical or serum. So in conclusion, my hairy friends, I hope that our 16th episode taught you everything you needed to know about oral minoxidil. 
at the same time, if you decide to take it, please kindly go and see a doctor in order for him to prescribe you medication and advise you how to take it. Because as you can see, there are a lot of possible side effects in which I highly doubt you want to run into. Thank you so much for watching our video until the end. Please hit the like button if you find it useful. Comment down below any questions you might have, we will reply to all of them. Subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell to see our future hair loss and beard growth videos. Until next time, bye bye. I'm just replying to all of your questions in the comments down below. If you like this video, please make sure you check these two as well. And for more hair loss and beard growth videos, please kindly follow our channel. Thank you so much.